Ladies and gentlemen, your team sucks. Detroit Lions. They suck. Now, before you trolls say, well, the Lions beat the Dolphins. Doing a Detroit accent, pretty stupid, ain't it? Because you are Lions fans. I don't care about individual games. It's what happens at the end of the season. And we are a better franchise than you guys. Now, the Detroit Lions, as an introduction to this video, they're a Pee Wee football team playing in the NFL. Now, the Lions, they suck worse than any other team, arguably, in the NFL. The WNBA, the NBA, Major League Lacrosse, Major League Soccer, Indoor Football, XFL, Curling, the list goes on. And for some reason, the Lions play a game on Thanksgiving, and that's not good, because the Lions always get scored on on Thanksgiving. And what happens is you have the bright lights of Detroit just drinking their sorrows away. And that's not good. Not good for the liver. Especially if you're having Thanksgiving dinner. The full belly plus the shots. They will do a number on you. And I am concerned for you Lions fans. How about remember that time... Uh, when they went 24 and a whole 70 in uh, six seasons, preseasons included. And then William Ford, the bright owner, gave a five-year extension to the great Millen. I mean, every team in football has a role. The football gods created the Lions for everybody to run the stats on them. So fantasy football teams can be more interesting. It's true. Lions suck. From 1927 to 2005, factual for you, the Lions had a combined record of 2 and 1,000. Something close to that. The two wins were against a cricket team. Cricket team. Yes, that's right. Those were huge wins for the Lions franchise. In 2006, the Lions had great hopes. Guess how that ended? Wah, 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 wah. Lions suck. In 2007, they were 6-2. No explanation for this miracle, except probably what I reckon is um, Belichick from the Patriots. Patriots. Installed cameras, and then eventually the league caught on. Lions lost, coincidentally, after that. Discovery. Terribly. And the team in that year was put on for sale on eBay. No bid as of yet. And this is almost 10 years running. In 08, you were 0-16. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. You finished 33 out of 32 teams. 09 season, you had two wins, and these were sympathy wins. Um, every game, everyone in those two wins was clapping for Mr. Matt Stafford. But then what happened is he was grabbing a bite to eat a burger, I believe it was, and he shuffled 
a shoulder injury. That's right, I said suffered a shoulder injury. 2010, not much happened though. There was a debate about changing the logo from the Lions to a empty house because here's the thing. At that point, there was no zoo in Detroit. Hence, there could be no Lions. And quite honestly, everyone was leaving Dodge from Detroit because that state sucks. So why not change the logo to an abandoned house? In 2012, you had the Madden curse. Okay, the calculations were... Uh, slightly wrong. Calvin Johnson uh, had a great season, but they went 4 and 12. <laughs> 2013 was the yearly trolling by the Lions fan base. You guys went 7 and 9. 2014. <laughs> Let's not even speak about 2014. Some some fun facts for you guys here about why your team sucks. Furthermore, uh, they were voted the lamest team in the 21st century, right next to the Patriots and the Bills. They were tied. In 98, the Miami Dolphins beat the Lions 824 and a half to 1. They got one point for showing up. Voted dipshits by the fans. All ten of them. Roy Williams. <laughs> Remember him? <laughs> Matt Stafford is a flopper. And he gets fake injuries. In 85, the Lions lost again to the Dolphins. 60 to negative pi. That's right negative pi. And this was because uh, at that point the uh, Lions were throwing to the coach of the Miami Dolphins, not even their coach, uh, Don Shula. And uh, what had happened is he missed, the quarterback missed Don Shula, wasn't able to reach him. Don Shula was about five yards away. So for that, they got a negative pi. <laughs> I mean, with this Lions, for every half step that they take forward, they take six steps back. I mean, quite honestly, going back to Stafford, if he waves to the fan base, that's a torn rotator cuff right there. And how about this fun fact for you as well? You remember that running back best that you guys um, traded up? In the first round four, your coach was so high up on this guy. This is what an actual statement that he said. People watch adult films on the computer. I go to YouTube and watch best clips. That's what gets me going. I believe that was the great coach, Mr. Shorts of the Lions. <laughs> Your team sucks, Detroit Lions. Let's go Dolphins.